Leveling Ayaka for this showcase was no simple feat, for I stepped into the terrifying land of Inazuma. Um, um... Why was I at the pyro hypostasis if I was farming for Ayaka? Fair question. Not the point though. I'm poor, and every chance I get to spend money on Genshin, I'm willing to spend a hundred dollars. I take it, but I failed Ayaka's 50-50 to my fourth Kuchin copy, couldn't pull a miss splitter, and had to drag myself all the way to hard pity guaranteed <laughs> to retrieve one singular Ayaka. C0 Ayaka. Now, Ayaka is a very flexible character that fits into a lot of playstyles, team comps, and builds, but choosing the one that works best is quite easy because freeze teams are always the answer. <laughs> Ayaka has a lot of synergies with freeze teams, and you can arguably squeeze the most of her potential from squ squeeze teams. <laughs> Given that I ended up settling with a freeze strategy, I farmed for a four-piece Blizzard Strayer set to put on Ayaka, and there are a few reasons why this set is by far Ayaka's best set. Ayaka gets a 15% cryo damage bonus with the two-piece passive, which is really nice considering her entire kit is cryo damage, and the four-piece passive opens doors for a bunch of power spikes. With this passive, you'll gain 20% crit rate against enemies affected by cryo, and an additional 20% crit rate against enemies that are completely frozen. This plus cryo resonance means that if you attack a frozen enemy, your crit rate is at the absolute at least 55%, which is more than enough to deal an absolutely booba sword ball ton of damage. This is because without having to build into crit rate, you can completely focus your substats and main stats on building atop Ayaka's already insanely high base crit damage. While the majority of her whopping numbers comes from her burst and her elemental skill, Ayaka's attacks can be very potent given you're lucky enough. What I mean by that is, Ayaka's charge attack and fourth hit normal attack strike three times quickly, and each strike can crit. This emphasizes the importance of building crit stats on Ayaka, because if you're lucky, or just a godly strategist, these charged attacks and fourth hit normal attacks can deal massive damage. For reference, my good charged attacks usually strike for around 15 to 25,000 damage. But they're only doing that much damage because of a sick, amazing, beautiful new craftable sword added with Inazuma. The Amanoma Kageuchi is an amazing new weapon that is completely free to obtain and refine, and it has a few qualities about it that make it one of, if not the best options for a free-to-play Ayaka. Basically, this weapon is the piece that puts the entire free-to-play Ayaka puzzle together, so to speak. Though it has a pretty low base attack of 454 at level 90, the subset of 55.1% attack more than makes up for it. In fact, the subset alone makes it an amazing free-to-play weapon in general for damage output. But what really makes it Ayaka's weapon, strangely enough, is the passive it has, focused on nothing more than energy recharge. The way it works is, using your elemental skill builds a consumable stack, and you have up to three stacks of this seed, we'll call it. When you cast your burst, these seeds are consumed, and your character regenerates energy based on how many seeds you had stacked up. The reason this works so well for Ayaka is because even with a cryo battery, her burst requires a lot of energy. And on top of that, Ayaka's elemental skill is one that you have to be spamming in order to deal the most damage with her. This means that her playstyle in and of itself promotes the correct way to use this sword, and when you're doing it all right, at high refinement levels, her burst will have a significantly increased uptime. The sword itself doesn't focus on building raw damage in massive numbers, it takes a more clever approach at increasing a character's total damage output, and it greatly rewards players who use it correctly to do so. With Ayaka, it's an amazing choice of weapon, especially for freeze comps in which you have an animo character to pull enemies into Ayaka's bursts anytime they're cast. So when you put the freeze team, the blizzard strayer, the crit damage, the sick sword, the endless hours of grinding, leveling, and ascending, and all of your hopes and dreams together, the outcome ends up being something like this. Ah, who am I kidding? I love talking. I'll do it. Uh, click the subscribe button. Join my Discord community. I love you. <laughs>